Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to today's Great Garment Graphics webinar. My name is Andy Curtis. I am the trainer here at Stalls Transfer Express, and I will be your presenter. I hope everybody had a fantastic, safe, and happy and healthy New Year. I feel like I haven't joined you in forever, so uh, it's nice to be back with you on this uh, not-too-bad July day. With me, I have Jody Weiler from Great Garment Graphics, playing uh, behind-the-scenes host. Hey, Jody. Hi, Andy. Thanks for joining us, and thanks to all the attendees for joining us, and Happy New Year from Great Garment Graphics. We're, we're happy to get started this year. Uh, makes two of us. Uh, what Jody's going to do is be the behind-the-scenes person who's going to be monitoring that chat box there. If you have questions as we go, please do ask. I will do my best to answer things. Uh, hopefully, you know how I go. If you joined me last year, I can fill 45 minutes. But hopefully, we got time at the end for some questions. And if worse comes to worse, uh, Jody will help you behind the scenes, and we'll get back to you one way or another. So do not hesitate to ask questions, please. Um, before we get started right into the webinar, uh, Jody is going to run a poll for us. There's going to be two polls, and what I like to do is just get to know who you guys are, who I'm talking to. So if you don't mind participating in this poll. Yep, I've launched the first one. So what type of sales are you projecting for 2013? This just helps us get to know who you are. This is this is useful for us at Transfer Express and and. Uh, all the stalls companies actually it just you know it helps us to know who I'm talking to and who what what our audience is how experienced you are what size business you are that kind of stuff so just reference and hopefully everyone's projecting high sales though right <laughs> <laughs> looks like everyone's pretty up to um over half are pretty optimistic Andy fifty percent fifty seven percent are projecting more than they made in 2012. Oh, well, rock on. Good. All right. And for those of you who were a little bit lower, I will give you some things to look forward to this year, I promise. And we got one more poll question, Jody, if you'd launch that. Yep. And that one is, which, which markets do you get the most of your business from? And if you joined me before, you know that if you tell me who your market is, I will do my best to rattle on about that particular market. So give me an idea of who we're talking about today. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to give it just another second, and then we'll close it up. Wow, sports and business. All right, that's what I expected. That's good to hear. All right. Well, thank you, Jody, for running those polls for us. All right, folks, what say we get right into it, shall we? Uh, we have a lot of new stuff here at Transfer Express, and that's what this, this webinar is all about, what's new at Transfer Express for 2013. Uh, when I tell you that our marketing department and our printing department and our design department have been working overtime to try and get all these new things ready for you folks, I really do mean that. <laughs> it's been, it's been a, a lot of fun. It's been a lot of work, but it's going to be great results, I promise. Some really cool stuff happening in 2013. So let's just get right into it. Uh, the very first thing we're going to talk about is, it's official, it's official, it is the biggest idea book ever. We have put out the 2013 idea book. If you haven't gotten yours yet, you will be getting it soon. Um, uh, you, we are mailing out the color ones, the black and white ones, every, everything is getting mailed out. So um, if you haven't gotten it yet, be patient. Uh, the new idea book, though, is the biggest idea book we have ever put out. There are 152 pages. Uh, they are divided up into different categories. Uh, you've got the sports section, but then we divide the sports section into soccer, football, baseball, etc. There's the family reunion section. There's the uh, religious section. There's the anywhere section where it can be anything you want it to be. And this is absolutely stunning. 1,800 layouts. 1,800 layouts. I, I have been at Transfer Express for 11 years. I remember putting out the idea book in 2002 and 2003, and I remember being excited about how big those were. And to look back on those now and see how big the idea book is, it's it's almost scary. So, um, the biggest idea book we've ever put out, uh, and the cool thing is the amount of stuff in the idea book, the uh, the variety of different graphics and different layouts that we've added this year. Um, and the whole point is. This idea book, this is full of pre-made designs. Keep in mind the layouts that we're talking about. These layouts are pre-made designs that you can choose 
and that you can change to say and look however you want. So on this page, we're displaying some of the new soccer layouts, for example. You could choose one of those layouts, change the word Compton to Lakeview or whatever city you're in, um, and then uh, change the clip art, change all that good stuff. The new idea book is $15 for the color binder idea book, but, but if you hold on and stay with me to the end of the webinar, I have a special offer for you, so stay tuned. Don't, don't leave me until the end. I promise it'll be worth it. Um, so let's break it. Ooh, I'm sorry. As I sit here and click backwards, I apologize. Let's go ahead and move forward. Uh, we're going to break it down a little bit. So there are 310 new layouts in the idea book. 310. And uh, this is the most additions we've ever done in one year. If you've been with us for uh, a couple years now, this is the most we've ever done. And they are created partially, uh, mostly, by Great Dane Graphics. Dane Clement of Great Dane Graphics fame, one of the uh, new members of the Group Stall family. Um, if you are not familiar with Great Dane Graphics and uh, Dane's artwork, I thoroughly encourage you to familiarize yourself. Look up Great Dane Graphics. Uh, look through our idea book. Uh, the layouts that you see displayed here are some of his creations. Dane is the cutting edge. Dane is what's hot. His artwork is exactly what people are looking for. And all of it's based on what's popular in the industry. Keep in mind this isn't stuff we're just sort of pulling out of thin air. This is the, these are designs and layouts that are inspired by real life, that are inspired by what people are wearing right now. Because we want you to be successful. We want you to be able to sell these designs to your customers without any extra work involved. And if we give you what's hot and what's popular, that makes your job all the easier. Okay, so that's what we've done here. 310 new layouts from Great Dane Graphics. All new stuff, all hip, all, all the popular things. So um, displayed here are just a couple of them. Uh, you'll notice some of the themes this year. Uh, are a lot of the themes that are sort of similar from last year. We've got a lot of the splatter patterns. We have a lot of tribal designs. We have a lot of swishes and swirls. Those are very popular embellishments. Uh, but more importantly, little designs like that very top one, the QAT26 that's at the top of my page there. If you look closely at the word Compton, you'll notice that there's some uh, fine little detail in the word Compton. That's what's popular. Right now people are paying attention to the little details. So um, we have a lot of things like that throughout the whole idea book. A lot of the uh, a lot of the gothic look is very popular right now too. So we've added some of that, uh, not all that. I don't know, 310 layouts of it, but you get the idea. So if we've added 310 new layouts, you can't have too many new layouts without adding a whole bunch of new clip art to go with it. So uh, 310 new layouts, and with that 310 new layouts, we have 262 new pieces of clip art. Uh, and I have to tell you what's so much fun about this is here at Transfer Express, we actually have a contest. All of our graphic designers that work here, they have this massive contest to see who can design the coolest layouts and the coolest clip arts. And it's, it's so much fun for me to present this to you guys because I've been seeing the designers uh, putting them together for the last couple months. And it's, it's so cool to see these finished products and to see uh, to see these guys, all their work come to fruition. So um, these are just examples of some of the new pieces of clip art. Uh, and keep in mind that a lot of these are based on the great Dane graphics stuff that Dane Clement has done, and some of them are just based on the things that you guys suggest to us. You are the end users. You are the customers. You're the people using this stuff. So uh, the things you ask for are the things we try and provide you with to the best of our ability. Uh, so a lot of these things are actually those types of requests, hence uh, a couple of these clip arts. Um, some of our customers, I can already hear you ooing and eyeing over some of them because they are things that you have requested. So uh, just a couple of our new clip arts, again, 226 pieces. Uh, suddenly you can understand why it's the largest idea book ever, <laughs> adding so many new layouts and so many new clip arts. And uh, bear in mind, the way we make room for all these new clip arts and layouts is we do remove some of the less popular things. If you had uh, layouts that you were looking at last year that you were thinking to yourself, oh my gosh, why did they even put that in the idea book? It's not going to sell. We remove the layouts that did not sell very well. We remove the layouts that were not so popular. So every year the idea book gets refined a little bit more, a little bit more. Um, 
Bear in mind that our website, transferexpress.com, does and will have all of these new clip arts and layouts on the website as well. Uh, please bear with us. Our uh, Right now, actually, right now as I'm speaking, our marketing people and IT people are working on getting all new layouts and clip arts onto the website into the computer system. So bear with us as we add everything. So let's move on. So we got all the new layouts. We got all the new clip arts. Um, one of the new layout sections, and if you've been with us for a couple of years, you know that we look to expand our repertoire as much as we possibly can. And one of these new things this year is the collegiate layouts. Now, last year, the new section was the fashion layouts. But this year, what we've done is we've taken popular college designs from existing colleges, and we've tweaked them a little bit and added them to a collegiate layout section. Uh, so there's a whole brand new breed of layout, the QCU layouts, collegiate layouts. So uh, this section will give you a section of popular university and college designs. So for those of you who are in college towns, all of you who are doing the uh, fraternity stuff, the Greek orders, that kind of stuff, this is absolutely perfect. Uh, and even if you're not into the fraternity orders, even if you're just helping out one of the local colleges, these are super popular. Uh, also, those of you guys out there who are doing business with high schools, high schools love to do the college level look. Um, this is really popular. I, I know our local high school, I'm a Mentor High School graduate, and I know that Mentor High likes to get into some of this more, uh, some of the more uh, older look, the college level look, so uh, very popular. So be sure to check that out. The QCU layouts will be in the 2013 idea book and will hopefully be on the uh, website here pretty soon, next couple days. So keep an eye out for those. This is perhaps the best kept secret at Transfer Express uh, that we offer that people are always so stunned about. And they're making a re-emergence in the 2013 idea book. These are faux rhinestones. Now, here's the deal, guys. A faux rhinestone is exactly what it says. It's not a real rhinestone. It's a little dot of glitter ink that, from a distance, looks like a rhinestone. Hence the photograph you see there in the uh, Lions basketball mom. Uh, from a distance, looks like rhinestones. Now, the whole point of these is sort of twofold. Number one, they give you a really cool, blingy look. And number two, it's actually quicker and cheaper than doing actual, honest-to-gosh, custom rhinestones. If you've ever priced custom rhinestones, you know they are very pricey. They're very expensive to do. Um, all we're doing here is we're taking these layouts, and uh, pictured here are some of the new faux rhinestone layouts. All we're doing is taking this design and taking this whole bunch of little black polka dots, and we're using glitter ink. So again, it gives you that blingy look. It gives you the really cool, shiny, uh, rhinestone-ish look right now that's very popular. Uh, bling, if you've listened to anything Ted Stahl has had to say in the last couple months, you know bling is in. Bling is here to stay. So definitely a great addition for the 2013 idea book. A whole bunch of new faux rhinestone layouts. Uh, and keep in mind, the whole idea, folks, is you want to use the glitter ink with this product. If you just use our standard goof proof or hot split ink, you're not going to accomplish that bling look. You're not going to have the faux rhinestone look. If you use just the flat goof proof or polytrans or hot split ink, it's just going to be polka dots. Okay? The whole thing that gives it the faux rhinestone look is using the glitter ink in those polka dots. Okay? Your dealer services reps will, of course, help guide you in that direction. So, uh, But the new faux rhinestone layouts, definitely something to look at, something to consider, especially if you're doing cheerleading stuff, you're doing uh, spirit stuff. Um, definitely definitely a fun, fun thing to add to the list there. This was so cool when this happened. This is actually, uh, you, some of you might have heard about this already if you're subscribed to our newsletters, but we have launched our mobile site. Uh, our mobile site uh, is available to check your order history, to check products, order statuses. You can even, you can even send us artwork from your phone. How cool is that? Um, we have done some pretty extensive testing on the mobile site. We've had a lot of success with it. People have been pretty thrilled about it so far, but there you have it, new for 2013. 
uh, check your orders, check your uh, what you can order from us, our products, check your application guidelines. If you're standing there at your heat press and you're thinking, oh my gosh, I can't remember how to press a goof proof transfer, you got your cell phone in your pocket, there you go. Hit the mobile site, application guidelines, goof proof, there you go. You can even send artwork. This is perfect for those times that uh, you have a photograph on your phone that you want to do, or maybe your customer, since we are, <laughs> this is the year 2013, if your customer has sent artwork to your phone, you can now send that artwork directly to us from your phone. So uh, very, very cool. We're so happy about this, and a big round of applause to our IT guys for getting this online. If I was wearing a hat right now. Uh, I would tip it to them. So uh, be sure to check out our mobile website, one of the uh, cool additions at transferexpress.com. Okay, this, this is my favorite edition of 2013. Uh, I will be totally frank with you. I have always thought we lack some depth in our list of gray colors, and we have just expanded that. We've added two new shades of gray uh, to our list of stock colors. We have added cement which is a step, uh, step lighter than our standard gray. If you've ordered from us before, you know we've had gray and charcoal. Cement is a step lighter than gray, so we have a very light shade of gray. It's, it's so close to white, actually, and this photograph doesn't do it justice. On the next slide, I'm going to show you an actual transfer on a shirt of, the, uh, of these new colors. But, um, so we've got the cement, and my favorite new addition, and I can't wait to use this, is the metallic graphite. Now, it's sort of like metallic black, but it's not quite black. That's why we're calling it uh, metallic graphite. Um, not quite metallic black. It's, it's so fantastic to add to that list of the metallic colors. So now we've got metallic silver, metallic gold, and now the metallic graphite. Um, they look fantastic together. It's a, a great color to use when you are in a situation where you can't use the glitter inks maybe, or maybe you need to use one of our flat colors along with a blingy color because you can't combine the flat goof proof colors with the glitter colors. So if you're in a bind like that, you can always use the metallic silver, metallic gold, and now the metallic graphite with the flat, uh, the flat colors, the plain, plain colors. So metallic graphite, great addition. And then glitter pink. <laughs> For all of you out there in the cheerleading world who have been asking for this, uh, we have finally found a uh, good color glitter pink. It, it meets our requirements and it meets uh, our standards of quality. It is a fantastic color. It's the one that's sort of at the uh, bottom of this right-hand side, this uh, bottom glitter color here. Um, looks absolutely fantastic. I, I think it pops very nicely. Um, so for those of you in the cheer and uh, and the uh, uh, spirit world. That's the uh, new new fashion choice for you. Um, but let's go ahead. Let's actually look at some pictures of these new colors, shall we? Uh, here are the three new colors in action. The top left-hand picture here is the denim colored transfer. Uh, now, or I'm sorry, denim with cement. Okay, it's uh, the garment. There is one of the ever popular alternative pullovers. And uh, you see Lenox College there, one of our uh, new layouts, as a matter of fact. Um, and you notice there's a blue colored denim. That's not new. But that gray color on there, that light gray, is the new cement. And what's funny is when you're comparing it to the blue, it almost looks white. But if you put cement on white, you can see it's, it's clearly not white. So it's, it's a great in-between. It's great for tone-on-tone tone if you're going to do a bunch of grays together, some uh, whites and grays and blacks. Cement is a great addition for that. Um, the, <clears throat> the bottom left-hand side is the example of the glitter pink. I think that looks phenomenal, especially on that black color. Uh, very, very nice. And uh, hats off to the marketing department for coming up with that one. And, and I, my favorite, I, I love the right-hand side of the screen here, the uh, metallic graphite. I think that looks so slick. Um, 
the up close view is that top picture there. And what's actually funny, uh, the marketing team and I were talking about this just the other day, depending on what color you put that metallic graphite on, you get either a black look to it or a dark gray look. It all depends on what color garment you're putting it on. So um, if you want samples of these new colors, uh, you're welcome to call in and request samples. But my suggestion to all of you again is to wait for the end of the presentation. I'm going to have an offer to make you where you can get uh, your idea book and your color selector with the updated colors and all that stuff. So, uh, before everyone starts inundating Jody with questions, stay tuned. Okay, so those are the new colors. I encourage you to make use of them. The new colors are turned on in our system. The reps are ready to use them. And I, I think the reps are just as anxious to use them as I am to see them on garments. So <laughs> please, please don't hesitate to ask. Here's a topic that uh, I know that the reps, the dealer services reps, were happy to hear. Um, and this is something that a lot of you have been asking us about in 2012. Uh, in 2013, our inks will be more environmentally friendly. Uh, all of the screen printed inks are phthalate free, meeting everyday use for children's wear, such as t-shirts, sweatshirts, pants, shorts, etc. And our digital transfers, the CAD prints opaque specifically, meet the guidelines for eating and sleepwear, such as bibs and pajamas. Uh, my advice to everybody, if you need more details on the lead certifications and phthalate information and all that, the Consumer Product Safety Improvement Act info, our information is at transferexpress.com, uh, and you're going to go under the Help and Education section, and it's right there at the very bottom. So. I encourage all of you, if you do a lot of business with uh, baby gear, bibs, sleepwear, uh, toddler pants, shirts, that kind of stuff, if this is something your business is concerned about and something that your, your customers, the end users, are concerned about, by all means, our information is there on the website and can easily be printed out. If you have any questions, feel free to call our dealer services department. We can answer whatever questions you might have on that topic, so, uh, or do our very best. <laughs> So more environmentally friendly inks in 2013, that's a good thing. Here is also a good thing. It's been a little while since we have uh, come out with a new uh, number style. Um, the new number style we're releasing in 2013 is called Champ Air. And if you get a good look here, the red square there shows you an example of what the Champ Air looks like. Now, we're releasing one color and two color champ air. On the red background there, you see an example of two color champ air, white fill with a black outline. And that's right, the pattern there is a mesh pattern. And that mesh is actually show through to the shirt. So what you're looking at is a mesh number. Uh, the number has those little holes. It's like a mesh pattern. And those holes do show through to the shirt. They are not solid uh, little dots of ink or anything. They're show through. So what you've got here is a very breathable number. This is uh, something that some of you requested. Uh, the Champ numbers are fantastic. They're a great product, but they can be a little bit heavy. Uh, they're not quite as breathable, especially when you start to get into the 10-inch numbers. So here you have it, uh, a mesh number that is breathable. And for those of you who are looking for an easy-to-read number, that's a new look, something different, and I've heard this from uh, some friends of mine, uh, some of the t-shirt pluses out there, and a friend of mine from New York. Uh, we've uh, been talking about this where they're ready for something new. Their, their baseball leagues up there, some of their rec leagues, are ready for something different. They want, well, they want a new look, something they haven't seen yet. And this is a perfect look, actually. This is something that's easy to read. It's still the champ style number. Very simple block letters, but it's a different look. It's a, it's a little bit of a twist, and nothing crazy. It's not like uh, some of those really nutty letters and numbers that are hard to read or anything. So um, <clears throat> feel free to give our Champ Air a try. Uh, those are ready to go. Uh, available in limited colors, so please feel free to ask your dealer services rep next time you call in what the Champ Air is available in. And this, this is really cool too. I think, uh, I think some of you out there have probably been waiting a little while for this to happen. Uh, our express names are super popular. I remember when we came out with them years ago, everyone was so excited. Um, 
we have only had the two styles of express names for many years now. We've had Hercules and Full Block, and I think everyone was thrilled at first, and after a couple years, uh, especially last year, everyone was saying, okay, well, now we need something new. Now we need something different. Same thing with the number situation. We need something new. Well, here you have it, ask and ye shall receive the three new styles of express names. For those of you unfamiliar, the express name is our pre-spaced player name product. An express name is a screen printed name that matches our screen printed numbers and the name is pre-spaced, comes on a strip of paper. Um, so joining the other two previous styles, Champ, or I'm sorry, not Champ, um, Full Block and Hercules, joining those three styles are Arial, Impress, and Vogue. Uh, Arial is very similar to the Hercules style of number. It does not, our uh, Hercules style of letter, it does not have any serifs on it. It's a very clean, easy to read font. Impress gives you some fun rounded corners and normal looking letters, nothing too artsy, but a different look if that's what you're looking for. And then Vogue. Vogue is fully rounded. You can almost call them bubble letters if you want to go back to the 80s just a little bit. Um, you could sort of call them bubble letters. So uh, some really fun fonts, something a little bit different. And they're again, they're perfect for those baseball leagues out there. And I'm sure all of you out there have uh, even a client, maybe not a whole league, but a client that's like this, that they come into you and say, give me something new. Well, here you go when your leagues are looking for something different, a uh, different style of names for them. And again, these uh, different styles of express names can be cut in any of our different sizes and colors that we offer in the express name product. So um, no limitations there. So get creative, guys. Locker graphics. Locker graphics is another example of how you folks ask us for something and we do our best to figure it out and offer it to you. Uh, locker graphics are new for 2013. They are repositionable. They can be made any size you like and they apply very well to walls, glass, cement, or of course, metal lockers. These are great because they're not permanent. Uh, and that's, that's what's best about them is you're not going to leave schmutz on the locker. You don't have to worry about the school's janitors getting really ticked off because there's stickers on the lockers. These are totally repositionable. They don't hurt anything. They don't leave any kind of mess behind when you peel them off and restick them to any other surface. Good for inside lockers, outside lockers. Um, <clears throat> and this, again, this was an idea from some of our customers. Uh, you can also write on these locker graphics. I thought that was a really cool idea, actually. If you take some of these uh, cool locker graphic designs and you uh, leave some space, uh, for example, in the photograph here where we've got the 10-0, uh, if you were to leave that space blank, that would be a cool thing for the football team or a basketball team or a sports team is to uh, actually sign their name on the ball, and there you go, labels as to whose locker is whose. It's actually a, a real slick, unique idea. So. Uh, the locker graphics are very cool, um, and again, it's any size you want it to be. Uh, please call in for quotes if you're interested. This is one of our digital products, so the price is based on the number of square inches that uh, you're taking up on our roll of film here, so how many square inches the design is and then how many pieces you're ordering. Um, so please feel free to give us a call and ask about the locker graphics. Um, and here's a little hint, too, for those of you who might have already gotten them uh, or who have gotten our wall graphics in the past two, the same, the same trick works. Uh, the paper that the wall graphic, that the locker graphic comes on, the paper that it comes on in shipping, keep that paper because if you need to take it off the locker or take it off the wall for a little while and leave it off, you can put it back on that paper. It makes for easy storage. So uh, fun, little, fun little tip there. This, this is an addition to our marketing kit, our 2013 marketing kit, and I have to give a salute to our marketing department, Georgian, who came out with this. Uh, good job to Georgian. This is our transfer application instructions for all of our products here at Transfer Express. You see down the, down the left-hand column there, you've got everything, goof proof, polytrans, hotspot, elasti prints, glitter, names, numbers, transfer extreme, rhinestones, everything. Everything we offer is here. And it's showing you the time, the temperature, the pressure, and hot peel or cold peel. 
This is the perfect chart for you to have by your heat press, hang it on the wall. And again, what's, what's super cool about this is it's a wall graphic, the same product that we sell here at Transfer Express. These are the repositionable wall graphics where you can uh, peel this off the paper, stick it to the wall next to your press, behind your press, right over there by where you keep your heat presses. And if you need to peel it off the wall for any reason, they're totally removable, repositionable. Uh, they don't hurt the wall in any shape, form, or way and you can write on them. So we've given you a little note section. Maybe, maybe your heat press is a little finicky and you use a little bit, uh, maybe five degrees hotter, five degrees cooler. You can write right on there, make the adjustment. Um, this is a really slick way to help you keep track of how to press our products, uh, how, to, uh, how to handle what you got. So um, <clears throat> again, hats off to our marketing department for coming up with the slick edition. Now it's, it's part of the 2013 idea book. But if you would like to purchase one separately, you are welcome to do so, and our dealer services department would be happy to, uh, to get that ordered for you. This is another request from some of our dealers. Uh, when you're logging in to TransferExpress.com, if you do not have your dealer ID, go, uh, in the past, if you didn't have your dealer ID, you would actually have to call us here at Transfer Express or look it up on your invoices the long way and try and find your dealer ID so you can log in. Well, no more. Now, you can actually use your dealer ID or your email address to log on to TransferExpress.com. Uh, you still do need your password. And of course, if you don't know your password, you're always more than welcome to click the Forgot Password link or call in and talk to a dealer services rep. Uh, but what's important to note is now you can log in using your dealer ID or your email address. So definitely a neat little uh, addition there. And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there going, oh, thank goodness. Uh, if you do business with a lot of different companies, you've got a lot of different dealer IDs and business IDs and account numbers and all that kind of stuff. So here's one last one that you have to remember uh, when you're logging in, you can use your email address. So, um, cool stuff there. Hats off to our IT department for that little innovation. Social media. Um, if you have not gotten on the Facebook bandwagon, um, I have to ask, what are you waiting for? Uh, jump on Facebook, like us. We are uh, stalls, all things heat printing. Our goal with our Facebook page is to bring you ideas, to bring you updates, to share with you successes of other businesses, to share with you what's going on in our industry, to share with you little bits and pieces about everything happening in terms of all things heat printing. So I encourage you to find us on Facebook and like us. Join us there. Check out what we have to offer you. Um, and that is a joint effort between all of the stalls companies. There's so much fun stuff happening there all the time. Uh, definitely find us and like us. Also, our blog posts. Um, we have a blog here, Transfer Express, and it's found at the very bottom of TransferExpress.com. The screenshot you see here, the bottom half of my slide, that is just the TransferExpress.com homepage. And you'll notice the Transfer Express blog link towards the bottom there next to Facebook and Twitter. Um, the Transfer Express blog is meant to bring you ideas, to show you things you didn't know you could do, to show you what products are coming out, what services will be offered soon, to show you what we have going on. It's our way of trying to keep you up to date with Transfer Express specifically. And of course, uh, we ask you to subscribe for the weekly updates and the different uh, different stuff we got going on. But uh, we also, at the very top of TransferExpress.com, you might have noticed in the past we have a link called Ted's Blog. That is the link to our uh, our um, leader, Ted Stahl. Uh, it is www.tedstahl.com. Ted's Blog is great because there's always something interesting happening there. There's always uh, something to do with our industry. Ted has a wealth of knowledge on things happening in, in uh, screen printing and in uh, films and CAD printing and sports and cars and all, all sorts of fun stuff. So make sure to hit our blogs, check them out. Uh, we encourage you to interact with us and tell us what you think. Okay, all right. So everybody stuck around, it looks like. So time for that webinar special, I promised you all. The 2013 Marketing kit includes everything you see here in the picture, and normally it would cost you $49, uh, 
If you're trying to get a special on that, you'd normally have to go to one of our trade shows and see us there. Uh, speaking of which, we're going to be in Long Beach, California uh, coming up. I believe that's next week, actually, so feel free to come out and say hi. But um, normally you'd have to go to a trade show to get this special. We're going to extend it to you folks, the people who are listening in webinar land. Uh, if you call in today or tomorrow, so that's today, Thursday, or tomorrow, Friday, the 11th, you have to call in today or tomorrow and you have to let the dealer services representative know you were at the webinar and you want the webinar special, a $35 marketing kit. So that's $14 off, and I have to point out to you that keep in mind that marketing kit includes a $10 coupon towards your next order. So even though you're shelling out $35 for it, it's more like $25 when you consider you're getting that $25 or that, um, that $10 coupon. So that marketing kit will include your uh, color idea book with your personalized cover, your company's name on it, your personal name. It'll include your custom transfer dealer guide showing you pricing, policies, and Transfer Express info. You'll get a black and white idea book that's perfect for passing out and lending around to your customers. You'll get a window claim graphic that you can use in your window to show people that you print custom apparel. Uh, for uh, any of you who have a retail shop, you get the color selector that includes cement, metallic graphite, and the glitter pink. And then you get 30 display transfers, 30 sample transfers. They are the same transfers that you see the models wearing in the idea book. So it's a great way to connect your customers to the idea book and what you might have displayed around your shop. So uh, great, great chance for you to get something, uh, all the new 2013 stuff for a great price, $35 down from $49, and you still get the $10 coupon. So please do give us a call today or tomorrow, so that's Thursday the 10th, Friday the 11th, and let the rep know that you were attending the webinar and you want the uh, sales kit special, marketing kit special. Okay, Jody, if you're still with us, if there's any questions, uh, if we have time to answer any questions, we do, actually. Um, Jody, you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Uh, we do, actually. Um, Janet was wondering how she gets a business logo made into a transfer. How she gets a what? I'm sorry? A business logo made into a transfer and what the process is for that. All right. Well, Janet, if you have a business's logo and you want that made into a transfer, your first step is to get the artwork to us. And your best bet is to use either electronic means where uh, you can scan that logo, whether it's a business card maybe, or uh, maybe it's an email that they sent to you. Whatever, however you have it, you can uh, send it to us via TransferExpress.com. You go to our website, TransferExpress.com, you click on the link at the top of the page. There's a brown button that says, send us your artwork. You simply click there and follow the instructions. You're also welcome to snail mail that to us. And uh, TransferExpress.com has our street address. You can snail mail it too. Great. John was wondering about metallic. He was curious if metallic is just an ink option within the standard Plastisol transfers or if metallic is actually considered a specialty transfer? Oh, that's actually a fantastic question, John. No, it's actually just a standard ink color. It's not a specialty. Uh, the uh, metallic graphite, metallic silver, metallic gold can be used in our standard inks, uh, goof proof, polytrans, and hot split. So not specialty. OK. And um, Sheila was wondering what type of pen or marker is used for writing on lacquer graphics? You know what? I, I have used Sharpies on uh, the experiments that I have done. Um, my advice to you, Sheila, I had better luck with a medium tip or a fine tip marker uh, because keep in mind, the ink from the marker is going to want to absorb into the locker graphic just a little bit and it will spread just a little bit. So you don't want to use one of those massive tip markers where their kids are going to lose detail anyway when they write so sloppy. So go with a medium or fine tip uh, Sharpie, for example, it will work just fine. And John was wondering what Transfer Extreme, is it digital or is it actually Plastisol? 
And what makes That's it different? That's a good question, too. That's a good question. Um, and you know what's funny is we just trained a whole bunch of new dealer services reps, and we just discussed this, actually. Transfer Extreme is screen print. It's not digital. Transfer Extreme is screen printing, and it's called simulated four-color process. Uh, so it's not true four-color process. We're not limiting ourselves to cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. We're using several different colors, but we're using the concept of four-color process. Uh, so the transfer extreme is a bright, vibrant fades and shades of screen-printed ink, actually, so not digital. Uh, and be sure to check out the transfer extreme stuff. We, it's a line of stock products, so uh, definitely check those out. New stuff coming out all the time. Great. And Anthony was wondering, um, well, Andy, how far away is the exporting of the designs that they create for the client view in easy view? <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, need to mention it. <laughs> you know, it, it's a question that we get, and, and you know what? I Unfortunately, I don't have a straight answer for that. Um, I, I couldn't tell you for certain. That is a good question that we can certainly suggest to our um, to our IT and our marketing departments. Uh, we are here. Here's what I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a, a little hint, and and don't tell the marketing department I told you. <laughs> <laughs> Put your fingers in your ears, Jody. Um, <laughs> don't tell our marketing department I told you, but our uh, Easy View, the Easy View system on our website, where you can see your designs as you customize them, or you can put in a layout and change it. Our Easy View is gonna be getting a totally new facelift in the coming months. Now, there's no release date yet or anything. Um, that request you have, Anthony, is not gonna be in there, unfortunately, but we're getting step-by-step -step more uh, technologically savvy with our Easy View. There's gonna be a lot more functions, a lot cooler stuff that you can do. So, at least in the next upcoming couple months, Keep an eye out for the new Easy View, but in the meantime, Anthony, I, I don't have a straight answer for you. I, I don't have a date that I can tell you that that will be available, but we will certainly take that information back to marketing and suggest it. Thanks, Andy. And I think, I don't know all of your product offerings, but Kimberly was wondering um, if you were going to begin selling rhinestone transfers, and I thought you guys were already doing that. You know what? That's a great question, Kimberly. Um, we do have stock rhinestone transfers. Those aren't really new for 2013. They were new um, maybe five or six months ago, I think. Yeah. Uh, we have expanded the the uh, rhinestone transfer list, though, recently. So um, keep an eye out for that. Uh, the rhinestone transfers are perfect for all of you out there in the cheerleading and the spirit stuff. Um, it's the perfect amount of bling, especially, especially if you add the uh, goof-proof metallic silver, the goof-proof metallic graphite, Get a transfer in one of those goof-proof colors, one of those slick, nice goof-proof colors. Put your goof-proof transfer on first, then apply your rhinestones around it. So um, I'm actually going to be doing a demo of that very concept at the Columbus Trade Show in February. So those of you who are in the Columbus, Ohio area, February 16th, you can come see me, and uh, you'll see me actually do that. So, But yes, the rhinestones are out there. We sell stock right now. Um, who knows what the future holds, but right now we sell stock rhinestone transfers, a bunch of different styles. Check them out at transferexpress.com. Great. And um, Denise would like to know, if a client chooses a stock design, is there a way to get that art for use on other items such as business cards or promotional items? Is you it know what? It the same, it's sort of the same question almost, mm -hmm. but a little bit different than Anthony's question. Uh, you know what? I, I don't have a way for you to do that just yet, Denise. What we can offer you, though, what I can do for you is if you have a situation where you have a design and one of your customers um, wants to put it on business cards or something, we can offer to mail you a, a clean printout of it. I can mail you a clean a clean paper printout, but I don't have a way to send you an electronic file at this point. It's not a service we offer, not yet at least, but uh, again, sort of the same thing. Who knows what the future holds, but um, we can definitely forward that request to our marketing department as well. Okay. And um, I don't normally make recommendations for printers, but maybe you um, or, or maybe Meg. Mm, Meg would like to know what the best printer is for transfers. Oh, Meg. <laughs> I know. Um, you know what? I, I can't even... 
begin to go there. Um, I know. We, uh, we, we print the transfers for you. We will make them for you, but in terms of helping you print your own, I, I can't really give you too much guidance there. Yeah. Um, and it, and yeah. there's so many questions that would even go into answering that. Um, uh, if you're printing like uh, the digital transfers, or if you're printing screen printed transfers, that's uh, it's not something we really specialize in here at Transfer Express. We specialize in making the transfers for you. Right, and I think Imprintables Warehouse are a great resource for um, wanting to do your own things digitally, and then of course T-shirt forums, just for an unbiased, absolutely un. Um, adulterated sort of conversation if you post it or just kind of peruse through there you'd get a lot of different ideas of what people who are actually using printers what they um, what they like and what they don't like and what they would recommend I agree I was thinking in um, printables warehouse myself actually that's probably your yeah opinion. that's usually they're, they're a really good resource for you know you know that and then um, I guess uh, Judith was wondering she said she has a Roland uh, printer, but I'm not sure, Judith, you may want to email, send in a message, or maybe um, the marketing department can answer this better, because I'm a little unclear on what you're asking, but she wants to know if she can use glitter ink. In a, in a hmm. I know. Uh, just, to, just to clarify, it sounds, Judith, like you might be thinking that it's a rolled good, but it, it's not It's not actually a rolled good, just to be, just to be clear, I guess. Um, the, the glitter ink that we're offering you is a transfer service where you, you order, uh, send in the artwork to us or choose one of our pieces of artwork and we'll send you the transfers of whatever color that glitter ink is, whatever that design that you need, that artwork that you sent us, we'll print it up in the glitter ink and send it to you to heat press. So that, that's, that's the service we offer. Thank you, because I was a little, thanks for clarifying that. Uh, Margo was wondering if all of your transfers are CPSIA compliant. Um, you know what? My my advice to you would be to go to transferexpress.com, go to the help and education section, and if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of that page, you will find the uh, certifications for all that information. I'll be truthful with you. I, I don't know the breakdown of every every piece of information there. Um, but that that section of our website has all that CPSIA, all of that information is on the help and education section. Scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you'll see our certifications. There's all a link for it there right in the middle. And for Philip and Judith, they were actually, or I'm sorry, Lisa and Judith, they were actually wondering if you were going to be at the Toronto Imprint and the PPAI, and I do believe only Stahl's ID Direct is going to be at both of those shows. You know what? Um, I if it's the if it's there's a trade show happening right now in Toronto, is it or Ontario? Maybe I there's a there's a trade show happening right now in Canada that we are at. Um, I myself am not, but uh, um, our uh, uh, commercial department has some people there, and our uh, marketing department has some people there. But uh, aside from that, we're going to be in Long Beach uh, next week, and then we're going to be in Columbus next month. So those, those are the shows that I know we're going to be at in the next couple months. Okay, and then, um, and yes, Georgian just confirmed that you guys will be at the Toronto Imprint Show. And that actually there starts, oh yeah, it's, well today's today, Thursday, tomorrow. so it starts tomorrow. There you go, yep. We have uh, three people, I believe, that are there at that show. So. And awesome. um, this is a really common question, Andy, about the heat press markings on poly. And how to avoid them? Um, the heat press mark. Oh, on polyester. On polyester, um, yes, hundred percent poly. Avoid them. Yes. The 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 best thing to do first off is make sure that you're using the best the best tool for the job, the best type of transfer for that. If you have a heat sensitive polyester shirt, we do have uh, transfers that are applied at a lower temperature. Um, our Elasti Prince transfers, even if you don't need a stretchy transfer, our Elasti Prince transfers are uh, applied almost a full 100 degrees less than our Goof Groove transfers. So um, those are definitely a great option to go with. Um, the truth is that if you're, if you're trying to use a high temperature application on some of that heat sensitive polyester, there's nothing you can do to stop the discoloration. Uh, short of again finding a transfer that is a lower application for you, so that that's my advice. Uh, or to try and seek out the polyester that's not heat sensitive. Um, 
that that's the best way to go. Uh, otherwise, there's real no way. There's no way to make that. If, if it's sensitive, it's sensitive. There's nothing you can do about that. Absolutely. And then um, I think our final question from John is he was wondering if there was any benefit or danger in pressing your transfer a second time. For example, after the initial application is complete, transfer paper's been lifted, does it help or hurt um, any type of longevity as far as washability goes? Oh, good question. No, actually it doesn't. Um, and to be honest with you, you do have to do that multiple step application if you're going to do a multimedia design. If you're going to use like goof proof and some foil and some rhinestones all together on the same design, you do have to press it multiple times. The thing you need to do though, and a, a big, big uh, blaring, blaring thing here, if you do press a transfer multiple times, you have to make sure to cover up the transfer that you've already pressed. Do not let your upper platen touch ink that has already been pressed, because what it's going to do is make a yucky mess on your upper platen. So make sure to cover it up. But yeah, no, it doesn't hurt the longevity, it doesn't hurt the product. And with respect to the poly cotton blends and heat press marks, what is the absolute lowest temperature setting you would recommend on just a standard, let's say, goof proof? Goof proof, the reason we call it goof proof is because, <laughs> is because it really is goof proof. You could do so much with that. The lowest uh, temperature that I can promise will work flawlessly is 340 degrees for 10 seconds. Now, I have been known to encourage people to play with their goof proof transfers a little bit. Um, I can't guarantee personally that uh, the washability and longevity of something pressed outside of, uh, like, lower than that 340 mark, but you'll be surprised at what the goof proof transfers can accomplish. So, um, and then what about your, first. what about the easy prints? You know, anything that's typically the recommendations are at 365. Well, not necessarily. Uh, keep in mind that every transfer type has its own temperature. So we have everything spanning from 365 down to 275, and that would be the elastic prints. We have everything in between. We have some 330s, some 340s, some 350s. So every transfer type is a little bit different. If you're planning on pressing on something that is sensitive, if you know it is a sensitive poly, poly cotton, whatever it is, say something to your dealer services rep when you're placing your order. The rep will help guide you there. And I think that might um, just about wrap it up. All right. Well, thank you for having me, Jody. Thank you, everybody, for attending today. It was a really fun Welcome to 2013 webinar. I look forward to all of you joining me throughout the year this year. This is one of my favorite things I look forward to every month. Next month, uh, you will be joining me again for baseball and custom transfers, a winning combination. That's February 14th, uh, Valentine's Day. So uh, come join me for that. Uh, but the next upcoming webinar is January 24th, the right tool for the job, matching materials and garments. That's sponsored by Stalls ID Direct, so make sure to come out and see my friends from Stalls. Thank you, everybody, for coming today. Have a great beginning of your year, and we'll see you next month. Yes, thank you so much for joining us, Andy, and have a great day. You too.